guys. How y'all doing? Hi, good on you. It's good to see you both again. Congrats on the Suicide Squad being amazing. Idris, I'm going to start with you because I have a question, man. When the, I remember when you were first cast in this movie, everybody thought it was Vigilante. And then I visited the set and they were calling you Vigilante. And then we found out your blood sport. I want to hear about that. Uh, that cat. Was there ever like a version of this where you were ju- uh, operating under a different name or was it always blood sport? Why was that? Why was there that deception for us? Uh, it wasn't more of a deception, you know, I mean, we just needed to give it a name, uh, because the cat, we didn't know what character from the DC universe we were going to use. So vigilante just felt like, you know, a good red herring for anyone that was being nosy. Um, and ultimately, you know, we really wanted to get the character right and figure out who makes sense to be in this, this version of the suicide squad. So, you know, listen, I'm, I'm glad that people were surprised because, you know, the Deadshot character is an incredible character and, should, and is, you know, should come back. I agree. But, dude, Bloodsport was, uh, was dope and you killed that role. So congratulations on that, man. Daniela, I heard day one to get the job, you had to be interacting with rats. Uh, and that was what James really was your final test. I want to hear about what kind of stuff they put you through to make sure, like, so how do you test if somebody is okay? Because I wouldn't have done well. I know I wouldn't have done well. So they brought this like uh, really big plastic box uh, with the rats, like already opened. And they didn't s- tell me an- anything. They wanted to see like what how was going to do. So I was like, oh my God, so sweet. And I wasn't pretending, I, I swear. I picked one up and then he was crawling my on my shoulder I picked another one then I found myself like me and James we looked like little kids playing with toys we were so like happy to have them and I guess I passed the test <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you did I think you deserve the part you did such a great job and this is your first English language film congratulations on uh, having the confidence to go out there and play it so well Thank you. I was really nervous, but like as soon as James told me, please keep your accent. Uh, I love it. And as long as I understand you, we're fine. So, yeah, I was really happy and I felt comfortable. Yeah, you did such a great job. Uh, And and Idris, now that you've joined the DCEU and Heimdall has seemingly perished in the MCU, does this make you a DC exclusive actor? Is is this is this your future here? I think um, that I'm excited about the possibilities in the DC world. And I think the word of choice to make note of is the word seemingly. Okay, fair enough. Love it. Uh, And my last thing for both of you, if you could see the Suicide Squad crossover and face off with any group of characters from another franchise, I mean, it could be the Justice League, the Avengers, the Fast and Furious family, the Walking Dead, I don't care. What what do you think would be the most fun to see the Suicide Squad go head to head with another group? Uh, Go for it. I would say because, but it it could be like from any, anything. Anything. I would say because I'm I'm loving that show, Chits Creek, because that, that <laughs> is pretty crazy, and I would love them. Like their humor would be perfect for the Suicide Squad. That would be hilarious. I would like to see the kids from uh, People Do Nothing and the Suicide Squad get together. There is some banter in both of those. I love it. Well, listen, guys, thank you so much for taking the time. Congrats on being a part of an excellent movie.